downtown arena district city hall museum of art state house look at this lazy motherfucker get up and do some work bitch those are humongous showers yeah all right so we're back where we started when i realized i need to get a mask I'm Nettie. Nettie, that's me, and I'm back for another video. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do another vlog today. Today is Monday, October 11th, and uh, my job is taking it as a holiday, so I don't have to go to work. But my son had to go to school, so I was like, whatever, I'm off. <laughs> Uh, so the plan is just to go downtown, uh, downtown Columbus, Ohio, and explore a bit. I'm just going to park my car, walk around, look at the different parks, and check out um, some restaurants. That's all. But yeah, don't mind the hair. I just got out the shower, and I decided to wash my hair. But as you can see, water moisture refuses to penetrate the shafts of my hair so it just sits on top of my hair like water beads it refuses to penetrate so my hair stays super dry all the time but that's another story see you later you know i actually got um netflix a few days ago because everyone was talking about uh dave chappelle so i wanted to see what the fuss is about so i subscribed I thought I was going to get like a free 30 day trial, but apparently the email I had was old. So I'm paying for this. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to see what the fuss was about with Dave Chappelle that people were talking about. Um, have you guys watched uh, Squid Game? Because I, people were talking about it and making like little funny videos about it. And it was good. It was really good. So I enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys have seen it yet, but Squid Game was really good. Like, the saddest game for me was um, the Marble Game. Oh, I was choking. I was, like, holding back tears with the Marble Game. But now, I'm currently on Made, which is good as hell. I'm on episode uh, 9 right now. And this is good as hell, too. I'm, like, so invested in Made right now, so... I'm going to finish this up today. Okay, so I am not a fan of this like puff cuff thing. I saw it um on Instagram. I'm like, ooh, I want that. Because when they uh, did the demonstration, of course, the girl who did the demonstration, her hair was nothing like mine. So she made it look so easy to put it on. So I'm like, I would love that. So I'm going to show you how much hell it is to get this on in a puff because it's so stiff and it's hard to close because when the girl did it on the infomercial you see my hair is getting stuck in the clasp so it's pulling my hair i'm closing it you see how i'm closing it and it's getting stuck like i i didn't even waste my time trying to return it it's bullshit i'm trying to close it and it's not closing like it should you see how my hair gets like just stuck in it? I hate the puff cuff. Do not recommend it for people who have hair like mine. And it's stuck. It's stuck in my hair. So of course they're not going to show you that on the infomercials. <sighs> I'm going to show you guys what I do um, use instead. You're not going to agree with it, but it works for me. And it's adjustable. I use the regular, regular rubber band. I, I know you feel like, oh, that pulls your hair out. Well, shit, the puff cuff pulls your hair out. So, a regular, regular rubber band does all the trick for me. Let me pull my hair up. And, um, I like how I can adjust it to where I can like pull it down as far as I want and tuck it back in as far as I want. 
I typically lift it though so that my hair doesn't get too tangled in it. <sighs> See, wasn't that easy? A lot easier than the puff cuff. I'm trying to spread it out more. You know, I'm thinking about wearing this. Um, let me show you real quick. I brought this from Amazon. Would this be kind of cute to wear? It's like a little headband. Not today, maybe next time. All right, so I think I'm ready to go. Should I put some bangs in the front? I, I don't know. Let me start trying to be extra. Put my little puff in and get it going. You see how easy that was with a rubber band? All right, so we're all ready to go. I'm proud of myself for getting in the car. You like my little puff? It's cute, ain't it? It's cute, ain't it? Let's see if some light matters. Eh. So anyway, before we get started, I know that my bra kind of shows through my shirt. When I put it on, I noticed it and I just didn't want to change. And my skirt is red, but my shoes are pink. So I know it doesn't match. I know this already. I know. I don't care. All right, so are we ready to go? We're ready to go? All right, let's go. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop at the ATM real quick because um, what if I get somewhere and they are cash only, like someplace I want to go or something I want to do and they just take cash and not card. So I'm going to stop at the ATM real quick and get a few coins out. All right, so I really don't know why people pull up to ATMs and sit there because she was done for a little while and still kept sitting there. So I'm just going to get like 40 little bucks out just in case I need cash for anything. Turn left onto the ramp to I-71 South. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-71 South. Oh, they have roller skating over there and laser tag. I already knew that, but I just don't go. See if we can go in there today. But this is my city, Columbus, Ohio, the 614. No in 1,000 feet, you will arrive at your destination. So I don't know if the parking over here is free. So this is my car. I don't know if I have to pay. Let me go look. Oh, did you see that car over there? This is like um, a science center. We used to go here all the time when we were kids. And they would teach us about science and gravity and all that. 
maybe one day we'll ride the uh, bikes. Oh shit, maybe we'll do it today. I'm not doing nothing. But I haven't rode a bike in forever. All right, so let me see. Single trip, one ride up to 30 minutes, day pass. I'm gonna do this eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but eventually I'll come back and we're gonna ride bikes downtown. My city, where should we go first? I wanna take um, a picture in front of the Kosai sign. But I don't have a long tripod. I gotta stop someone like, excuse me, sir, ma'am. Can you help me take a picture? I would truly appreciate it. Damn it, I need a tripod so I can have a good picture. All right, but I'm at a... What does that say? Welcome to Genoa Park, Columbus Recreation and Parks Department. That's where I am. This is where the view is. I want to go to that building right there, that tall building, just to see what's in there. Maybe they'll let me go look around. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so I was about to walk up the street, but then I decided to turn around real quick because I think I see a parking machine. So I want to see what that is real quick because I don't want to come back to a ticket because I plan on being here for a few hours. And I haven't had breakfast yet, so when the stores around the area open, I would like to try a restaurant that I never tried before. So let's see if this is a parking machine down here. Okay, so this is what I was looking at. I didn't know if it was like a, a parking meter. Uh, so I'm assuming parking is free. I don't see a machine or anything, so free it is. Look at all those... um scooters is that supposed to be like free for the taking because it's just sitting here do i just jump on it and go and bust my ass <sighs> who the hell is this supposed to be franklinton historical society statue committee look at this asshole pretending that he's discovering shit you didn't discover a motherfucking vein I honestly don't even know where to go first. There's just so much to do and see. I'm very excited. And, uh, oh, look at these deers. I wanted to take a picture by one of these little statue deers. This is my city, Columbus, Ohio, the 614. Isn't it beautiful? It is a nice day. It's not too hot not too cool it's just like the perfect weather just perfect don't need a jacket or anything look at this lazy motherfucker get up and do some work bitch this is just the absolute perfect day i really picked the best day to come the weather is phenomenal we're gonna go take a picture with this deer down here he looks all excited and ready for the picture like hey motherfucker take my picture bitch ah. but yeah i need to hire a photographer to take pictures with me so my hands can be free and i can pose the way i want to pose i think i'm going to try to go to that building that i wanted to go inside first before i uh start exploring the park more because you know after you explore for hours you get tired and just want to go back home so before i get tired we're going to explore this building right there i never knew or seen what was in it i would like to see all right so this is some exercise bitch Woo, I need it though, I need exercise. So, and this park is beautiful. Long, beautiful trails, nice scenery. People are here walking, hanging out, fishing, riding bikes. I'm getting my exercise. 
I have to keep stopping to check my pocket to make sure my lip gloss is in there. It's like, take my phone, take my car keys. Don't take my lip gloss. Hmm, nice little benches to sit down and enjoy the view. District, City Hall, Museum of Art, State House. You know what I just realized? And I'm slightly pissed. I'm trying to go into this building behind me, right? Right there. And I'm going to have breakfast down here at a restaurant I've never been to. I just realized, since I put my purse in the car and just took like a little, small little wallet, my mask are in the car. So I need to turn around and walk back and get a mask before I go into any of these buildings. Ain't this a bitch? That walk was not enjoyable, but we're going to do it anyway because I want to have fun and see places. Ain't this a bitch? I walked all the way over here for nothing. For nothing. Gotta turn the fuck around and get the mask out the fucking car. Oh yeah. All right, so let me experience the benches before I uh, walk all the way back to my car. <sighs> this is really nice. I haven't been giving my city enough credit. It's really nice. Ooh, you can swing on this one. enjoying my day this would be a nice date like if you were hanging out with somebody you can explore the city together and sit down on the bench and swing and talk and get to know each other <sighs> look at them canoeing that looks fun I'll be freaked out though because look at that tips over and then you're stuck in there for a minute, I would panic. See, if I was riding a bike, I would have been here faster. But then, when I go inside these buildings, where would I even put the bike? Hmm, it's a lose-lose situation. All right, so I'm back to my car. Let me find these damn masks. I'm just gonna take the bag with me. Or should I, should I? Take a couple, watch me take a couple. And then I dropped them both somewhere. <laughs> My luck. All right, so I got a couple of them. Wear your mask. Department of Education. All right, so we're back where we started when I realized I need to get a mask. So there's a Columbus Palace Theater. So yeah, one side is for the hotel of this place and the other side is for residents who have apartments there. All right, so here's the hotel side. Let's see if they let us look at a room or something. I don't know. Starbucks. Is the um, kitchen and liquor bar open to the public? 
the what? The key? The kitchen and liquor bar, is that open to the public? Yes, but the key exists. Oh, yeah, okay. And um, who do I speak to if I want to talk about um, going to the hotel or renting or leasing a, an apartment? Uh, I'll turn on this up that way. Okay. There's a car that should be in here for the apartment. Okay. That you can call them. Okay. You're going online to view the apartment. Okay. Um, what is the name of this place? It's called the Levesque. Love that. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So apparently anybody could just walk on in here. This restaurant is called The Keep. I've never been in here before. Residential elevator use only. Office and hotel elevators. I'm a total stranger off the street just walking up in here. But hey everybody. Isn't that a security issue? Hey, let's go to that restaurant. Jerusalem, Old City. Levesque. Hi. I'm pretty good at yourself. The building is called the back tower, and then this side over here is the hotel side. Um, so if you're interested in getting a tour of the residences, here is a good number. Awesome. Is there a, a way to see one of the hotel rooms? Uh, yeah. Let me go call up to someone up in our sales office to see if they can uh, give you a tour. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. The what are you looking for exactly in the hotel side? Are you looking to look at the rooms or the restaurant or all of it basically? Uh, mainly the rooms, but you just have one restaurant, right? And it's yes. close today? Yes. So I guess it's a room then. Okay. Uh, so just that you just take, take a look at some of the room types. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be done in just a moment. I'm going to make yourself comfortable. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. I'm getting a tour of the Lovett Towers. Uh, this station is for a um, hotel guest to use? Yes, correct. So it's our little business center, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, how often does uh, 
housekeeping come? Um, kind of right now with COVID, we kind of do it based upon request. So it can be the one that we're dating with if you request it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll not spend, you guys take a look at that shower. It's so cool in there. <laughs> And so we also have these shower machines too. Um, I just mentioned we're those are humongous showers. Yeah. So this is on the second floor of the lounge. If you're interested in taking a look at that, I can point that out to you. Oh, sure. And this is like 21 and over, or the children can come at certain um, times? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bit open for breakfast. Uh, it's not open for, um, for lunch right now, but for dinner as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah children are, are allowed. Okay. Yeah, the, the bar area is not so much. No, but the guests. Take a look if you like on the bar and the bar to the left. Okay. It's very beautiful up there. Okay, thank you so much nice for your time. Nice yes. to meet you too. Apparently, I can just walk up here and look around by myself. All right, so I enjoyed my tour of the Levesque Hotel. This is the keep. Oh, it's the bar. Please wait to be seated. It's closed right now, though. So I'm out of, I'm leaving the Levesque Hotel. I want to see the apartment side. <laughs> Levesque Hotel. I don't know if I'll have time. I was going to say, I don't know if I have time for the um, apartment side because um my I have some like Amazon deliveries coming and they don't follow instructions so I'll tell them to please leave it behind the bush and watch them leave it right in front of my fucking door alright so I called the apartment side they said that uh, they do appointments only and that they're only available at this time after 3 and right now it's like 1130 I don't plan on being down here that long all right, so now I want to have lunch down here at a place I've never been to before. And I had a place in mind when I was looking at Google Maps. But I'm worried about my packages being delivered and sit out front. And I'm here. So I don't know, we'll wait. We'll wait and see. I'm going to see if I can find that restaurant. What's going on with Jimmy John's? Are they doing renovations? All right, so the place I wanted to go to is going to be an eight minute walk. So let me go ahead and do this just to say I did it. Bye, Levesque. Maybe one day I'll get a room there. I definitely want to come back eventually one day to do a tour of the apartment. So that'll be next on my list of touring downtown Columbus. The whole fabric of society rests upon labor. Who's labor? Who? The Supreme Court of Ohio, Ohio Judicial Center. What does it say right here? free parking in my mind it's free I really don't think I had to pay where I went I wonder what's in that building right there I think it says like Rice Galleria I think that's what it says but I'm on a mission right now to get something to eat and go back home so maybe next time next time is this called a galful maybe I'm embarrassing myself saying it wrong what the judges use. <sighs> Very cool. I wonder if I can hop over there and touch it. 
I don't see any do not enter signs. I don't see it. But I'm sure somebody sees me and going to be like, uh, bitch, don't you dare. I keep seeing these random scooters around. Are these free? They belong to somebody? I don't get it. It's just hanging around here. Do I pay for this? Is it like, hey, anybody can ride? I don't know. Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. I wonder why that's closed off. Are they like doing renovations? All right, I think I'm like four minutes from the restaurant I want to try out. But I'm actually really enjoying my day. I would stay down here longer if my packages weren't on the way. But we can't miss those, can we? All right, so more random scooters. I think I'm supposed to scan it. And after you scan it, you pay for it. And then you can use it and then drop it off where you want. I don't know, don't quote me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Let's go. I see those, um, I think those are apartments up there. I told myself I was gonna move into one of those if I ever got rich. I was gonna be downtown. That's gonna be my uh, apartment right here. Um, and we turn around, there's the Levesque. Bye Levesque. I'm gonna check out the apartment side one day. Okay, so there's the, um, restaurant I want to check out the 229 milestone or is it the milestone 229 I don't know but we're going to check it out I'm surprised to see it so packed but maybe since it's lunchtime but I thought um since it's supposed to be a day off type of day it wouldn't be so packed people will be home but no people are out here they're out here Center and Rich Street. I can smell it from here and it smells really good. Which way do I go in? It looks really packed. I want it to sit out on the patio. I'm probably gonna be like the only black person. <laughs> No, I see one. It's just gonna be me and you, girl. Oh, another one. Three of us here. Oh, another one. So I won't be here by myself. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. I think this is supposed to um have water flying out of it for the little children to play in, but the water's not flowing right now. So let me get my lunch, hang out, and get home before my um, package comes. I don't know how to get in here. Oh, this way. Lunch 11 to 4. It's hot. But I'm here and I have a table. Okay, so I have a water with lemon and a pink lemonade, my favorite. So I'm trying to think, should I order like a, a wine or an alcoholic drink? I don't know. Maybe I should. You know, I'm here. I should try something new, a signature drink. But I'm definitely happy with my water with lemon and my lemonade. All right, so I just got um, a turkey milk fries and a, a drink. That's all, nothing major, just basic. 
it's really good but i think i'm going to take it home because i'm ready to go home not really i still want to explore but i want to eat at home <laughs> but i had a good time So it was pretty good. I have my little um, to-go box. It was delicious, but I'll probably finish it later. I don't know why I feel full now. <sighs> All right, so I'm waiting for the check. What if she came back and said, ma'am, you're just too gorgeous. Somebody else took care of the check for you. <laughs> yeah, right. This bee keeps surrounding me. I wish it would leave. I don't know what it's looking for. There's no honey here besides me. What is it looking for? Oh my god, get out of here. She's taking a while to bring me the check. I said I wanted the check like 10 minutes ago. Now, if I would get up and walk out of here, then she'll find me and bring me a check. <laughs> Just 20 bucks, no big deal. Alright, so I gave her a five dollar tip. I hope that's enough. So I'm coming from Milestone 229. I had lunch and I enjoyed myself. And I got a notification that my shit was delivered. But at least he followed the delivery instructions and put it behind the bush like I asked. But I'm still going back home. It's time to go home. Nice day though. It was a really nice day. All right, so I'm assuming they do concerts or something like that here, since there's a stage. All right, so we're on Main Street in Civic. I need to go the other way and get to Broad Street where my car is parked. But I wanted to walk across um, this little bridge over here. Okay, so I guess they offer like the is it a canoe or a kayak? I don't know. But they offer rentals if you want to row the boat. <laughs> I won't be doing that anytime soon. But for anyone who's interested, my city, Columbus, Ohio, the 614. I love this view. I really do. I want to take um, a nice picture of myself with this view behind me. All right, so this is the best I can do with the view, but it's not so bad. I enjoyed myself. Time to get home. So I'm headed back to my car. It was a nice little outing, enjoying downtown. But uh, this is just one little piece of downtown. There's just so much that I haven't seen. I just kind of stayed around the same block. But there's so much to see and do. So next time, next time, talk to you guys later. Um, I'm Nettie. Nettie, that's me. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you would like. Talk to you guys later on the next vlog or story time or whatever. Bye. <laughs>